Hello everyone! Have you ever wondered if you could quickly create a 3D car using just one picture and no plugins? If that piqued your curiosity, stay with me to find out how. This technique is typically used to make motion graphics more attractive, especially when you want to add depth to your 2D motion graphics and present your animations in 3D to engage your audience. But before, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay with me until the end of the video, as I'll be sharing some useful tips and tricks along the way. If you're passionate about motion graphics and after effects, I highly recommend checking out my Motion Hero course. Without further ado, let's start. This image is my reference, and I have to cut this card into different pieces using the mask tool. I've already done that before, and I masked the parts I wanted. Now I make all the layers 3D. I create a null object and make it 3D as well. These two wheels are for the left side of the car, so I parent them to the left side of the car. And these two other wheels, I parent them to the right side of the car. And I parent these two sides to the null layer. The next thing that I need to do is rotate these two sides of the car. I select the right side. I hit R and on the Y axis, I rotate it minus 90 degrees. I do the same for the left side, but for this, I rotate it 90 degrees. Now I go to the back view, and as you can see, the two sides of the car are parallel. Okay, to make the top view of the car, I duplicate the roof of the car. I move its anchor point down. I double click on its mask and I change it to where the dashes are. I hit enter. Then I go to the right view. For the car to be positioned correctly, I rotate the null to align the car horizontally. I select the new layer and by holding control, align it according to the side of the car. Then I back to the active camera. Again, I duplicate it and move its anchor point down. Double click on its mask and change it until it reaches the next part line. Again, I go to the right view so I can rotate it accurately. Okay, I do the same for all the other layers just like that. I duplicate it, place its anchor point in the right position, change the mask, and lastly rotate it according to the side view of the car.
Well, let's work on making the wheels 3D. I pick up the ellipse tool and create a circle to the exact size of the wheel. And I make it the same color as the tire. Then I make it 3D. Now in order to place the shape to exactly where the tire is located, while the shape layer is selected, I hold shift and I parent it to the wheel layer. Now as you can see, it's placed exactly where the wheel is located. I select the shape layer and I make it slightly bigger so it matches the size of the wheel. And now to give it depth, it's essential to change the render of composition. So I come here and select Cinema 4D. The moment I change the render, some issues will happen with the body of the car, which I'll explain how to solve later on. I open the shape layer and geometry option and I increase the extrusion depth by 30. I change the view to active so I can see what exactly happened and how that shape layer got extruded. It's good. Well, I back to the left view. I change back the zero tension of the null layer that I changed to zero. To make the wheel visible, the shape layer should be moved slightly to the back. To do that, I move it back in the Z axis. I do the same for the other wheels as well so they all have depth. After I give depth to the wheels, it's time to solve this issue. For that, I select the tire. I open its contents under the geometry option and increase the curvature slightly. I do the same for the other wheels so there won't be any problem with the car. Then I go to the active camera and change the position of the null to get a better view. To make it even better, I create a shadow for it. I create a solid layer and set its color to black. I make it 3D and rotate it minus 90 degrees. And I move it down. I go to the left view. Using the camera tool, I adjust the car's view and position it at the center of the scene. Now I align the shadow according to the car. It should be placed exactly beneath the car. Then I head over to the top view. Again using the camera tool, I fix the view. I scale it up because I want to mask and feather it, and I don't want the corners of the solid to be visible. I head back to the active camera. I select the shadow and I hit F so I can see the feather and increase it. And I move this shadow layer below all the other layers. I create a background and set its color to blue. Now using the null object, I can set the view of the car to my liking. Oh, pardon me, I forgot to parent the shadow layer to the null object. Now as you can see, if I rotate the null, the shadow rotates along as well. I rotate it like that to make it look better. To make it even better, I can create a simple animation for it as well. I create a keyframe here, I go to the second floor and I rotate it around. 
I limit the work area and now let's see what it looks like. It looks magnificent. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.